Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast for Tuesday, July 11th, 2006. Now, in yesterday's podcast, I talked about a calculated field in a pivot table, which is very, very useful. Today, we're going to talk about something that sounds the same, but is completely different, a calculated item. And in my opinion, calculated items are absolutely horrible and useless. We have a pivot table here that adds up to 127 items sold with three different products. Now, let's say that two of these products are made in one of our plants and I want to group those together. If I want to add a calculated item, I go to the pivot table toolbar, choose formulas, and then calculated item. And I can say that this particular plant is composed of the ABC plus DEF items. Click add, click OK, and you'll see that now my total in the pivot table went from 127 items up to 158. Completely and utterly useless. I, I hate this feature. Now, we could go through and say, all right, we want to take ABC and DEF out, and we get back to the original 127, but we really lose the essence of the report. A better way to approach this would be go back to your original data and add an actual plant column to show the different plants. And then when you build a pivot table here, you could actually drag the plant field to the row area and be able to see a summary of what was made in each plant. So while well, yesterday we talked about using a calculated field, today calculated items, I completely and utterly hate this feature. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.